first we need to download the Rufus software this is the official Rufus site you can go down and see now click here Rufus 3.15 to download now Rufus is start to download now we need to download the other software it's Ubuntu 20.04 I put this official link in the description you can click that and straightly go to the site or you can search in the Google Ubuntu 20.04 download from here click on the download button and wait till end the download process now we need to download checkron jailbreak linux file for that we have to go to the checkron official website i put the link in the description you can go straight to the checkron official site in this method we are downloading checkron linux jailbreak file to the windows pc and select linux supported jailbreak file don't select mac if you're using a mac you can straightly do the jailbreak this is for the windows pc because windows pc is still not straightly support to the checkron jailbreak that's why we are using this method here is the all the downloaded file checkron jailbreak and uh, Rufus and Ubuntu. Now I copy these all the files to the desktop because it's easy to me to do the process. It is not necessary. Now I copy the checkron jailbreak file and paste it local disk C. Reason to do this: uh, some of you are uh, struggling to turn on the Wi-Fi in uh, Ubuntu or Linux operation system for this method you don't want to turn on a Wi-Fi from there so here we go I'm already copy and paste it to the local disk C so follow the steps same what I'm doing Now open the Rufus software. Now connect the USB flash drive and make the backup all the data. Otherwise, you will lose all the data in your USB flash drive. Before you start the process, you must need to do the backup. Now drag and drop this Ubuntu file and click start. So if you don't know this process, please check the description. I put uh, some of the video how to do this because we did this process before also after that we need to restart our PC within the restart you need to press your BIOS key some people call boot option key um, these are the old BIOS keys I put these keys in the description as well you can go through that as well now I'm gonna restart my laptop within the restart I'm pressing F12 this is for the laptop Now you need to select USB flash drive and press enter key. Select Ubuntu and press enter key. You can press Ctrl and C together to skip this uh, loading bar. Select the appropriate language and uh, click Try Ubuntu.
now we're in Linux system first we need to go to the files and click other location now select the checkrun jailbreak file what we save in the windows and copy and paste it to the desktop now open the terminal and type these codes first code cd space desktop in the desktop you must put the capital D and uh, press enter second code chmood space 777 space check run and press enter the final code sudo space dot dash check run space dash c don't press enter key because we need to connect our iPhone to the laptop or the PC the USB cable use a good USB cable press enter button in the keyboard then they ask you to do the DFU mode so if you don't know how to put the DFU mode please check the description below and uh, this is iPhone 7 for that you have to press down volume button and the start button together after turn off your iPhone you have to keep 5 seconds like that and just release your start button and uh, but keep holding your down volume button till the restart your iPhone similar like what I'm doing now you can release after seeing this message now we need to wait till end the jailbreak process Now we go and check whether it's jailbroken or not. Here is the check run icon is appeared, which means it's successfully jailbroken. Now I'm click on that. So I'm click here to CDR and click install. 